Hey everybody, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate. Hey, I'm Butch Lehman, and today we're in for another episode of Rolling Reactions. Today's episode features another skater with a profoundly unique, but altogether amazing style of his own. His name is Sichiro Kanashima, and he is a phenomenal skater, whether it's park skating, street skating, or anything in between the two, you know he's going to shred it. Anyway, today we'll be taking a look at three sections from Sichiro, including his part in FOR4, that's Future of Rollerblading number four. From there, we'll take a look at his part in Action Heroes, which is a series of like documentary style videos done by Butter TV. I absolutely love them. We'll take a look at some of the skating in that one. And then lastly, we're gonna wrap it up with a video that is one of my personal favorites in recent memory, and that's Sichiro's profile with them skates in the video titled Naguerre. Uh, very amazing piece, amazing skating all the way around. You guys don't want to miss it, so let's go ahead and roll into this one. Check it out. Alright, this first piece is from FOR4, which is a video put together by Eric Rodriguez. And if you've ever seen any of his videos before, he has a phenomenal editing style along with some great cinematography. So I'm a big fan of his videos just in general. Uh, one that comes to mind is Forever, the Blader Gang video from a few years ago. That one was top mark quality. And so I'm glad to see that he's got Citro in the lineup here getting his own part in FOR4 because he's a skater that I think a lot of people look to as one of the top ambassadors of style. I love that transfer over to the fish brain there. Uh, definitely making that one look good. And speaking of transfers, using this rail in really unconventional ways. You gotta love the true spin fish brain there. Uh, definitely one of my favorite tricks out there. I think that's one of the things that people maybe most know it for Citro, or Itchy as he's called in the industry, is he makes everything just look so smooth and effortless. And I think that's one of the things that helps sell inline skating to a much larger mainstream audience, is just having that watchability to it. And uh, with his type of skating, this is something I could watch nonstop. Going with a really high topsail on that rail check out this spot very unconventional spot is when to like an alley-oop toe roll to alley-oop top sole on a ledge like who else do you see do stuff like that it's just very unconventional you guys know i'm a big fan of the hurricane top sole and he's throwing that one down with the greatest of ease really just throwing these technical tricks in there like it's absolutely nothing speaking of technical tricks i don't even know what we would call that it looked like a 360 macchio but uh, it was almost more of a gap rather than a grind. It was a quick tap. Um, either way, pretty dangerous margin of error on some of those little technical tricks is significantly higher than what a lot of people realize. You know, in rollerblading, we often have that debate. You see it online about where did the hammers go? But um, just because something's not just a giant drop rail or a massive kink rail doesn't mean that the element of danger isn't more prevalent in some of today's modern tricks and what they were in maybe some of those traditional uh, skating videos from older ages. Really clean 540 there. I like the tucked up legs, um, almost like sideways on it. All right, next up we have Citro's part in Action Figures by Butter TV. I'm a huge fan of Butter TV. I would highly recommend you go check out the YouTube channel for Butter TV, subscribe. Definitely worth your time. But uh, what I love about this series, Action Figures, is they go around basically documenting different skaters from across the world and getting in touch with some of their lives, doing a bit of skating, but also some documentary background information. And I think it really humanizes a lot of the skaters out there in the industry that are sacrificing their lives, their time, their bodies to producing this type of content for the rest of us to enjoy and marketing skating for a much broader audience. So this is a collaboration that I'm always excited to see. And uh, if that's something that you guys can support as well, I know it would mean a lot to Butter TV if you, you know, showed them your support by going and watching the content that's produced because it's really good. Look at this big wall ride off of that. And you know, that's the kind of trick too that I think is much more difficult than it looks because sometimes those slanted angle walls are significantly more difficult just to ride up than what it seems on camera. The wall rails, always a danger. And I just love that too, like those types of budget tricks weren't always in fashion, I would say. You know, people would say that's not a real switch up, it's a budget. Um, 
but sometimes it's way more difficult than doing a regular switch up, especially considering the obstacle with the wall rail there does not leave a lot of room for error, especially since the budget was going into a top side. We're making some skate spots. I love it. Again with the wall rails. Got a fishy, another fishy, another fishy. Just putting on a fish brain clinic there. Big zero spin going over the stair set. And again, you gotta love the cinematography that you get in all of these profiles. And I think that's one of the things that's distinguishing of skating. That was really sick. The dark side fish brain coming out of that. And topsail, hurricane topsail. Going back to my earlier point though, I think that's one of the distinguishing features of skating videos nowadays versus back in the day is uh, there's a lot more attention put into the cinematography and to the visual storytelling of the edit. And that's something I know I really appreciate as both a skater, but also a filmmaker myself, is it's that perfect blending of those two, those two features. And so that's something I'm appreciative of. Like I said though, this is primarily a documentary video, and so it does go back and forth between some skating and some lifestyle footage, as well as uh, some background information about the skaters. And that's one of the big appeals. So we won't watch this whole thing because it is a longer piece, but definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. All right, lastly, we'll finish it off with this one. This one I'm really excited for. This is the profile with them skates titled Naguer. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not really sure, but it's hard not to like them skates and everything that John Julio is doing with that company these days. Uh, it's really amazing. The team, the level of marketing, the uh, investment back into the industry through events and promotions and competitions like Blading Cup. It's really cool. So John Julio, you have my support, man. And to the whole team that's skating for them, uh, big ups to you guys. Anyway, this profile piece is one that's really mind boggling. I've seen it once so far and I'm excited to see it again. Look how just crouched he is into that Royale grind. Not hesitating, not moving in the slightest, just locked in and riding it out for all it's worth. Gotta say, I do see some of the uh, allusions here to Alex Broskow wearing the like uh, overalls. That's a trend in skating that was pretty popular for a while. And frankly, I'm not really sure where that came from. It's like this weird farming throwback type of thing. I don't fully understand it. Not really my style, but I can definitely appreciate the good skating regardless of what people are wearing because I think sometimes we're too superficial in blading about things like that. What I did like though, that really nice 540 with the grab. Hurricane topsail. We're gonna go around a curve here, it looks like. Ooh, that's a really sharp curve, too. Also, appreciation of getting the left foot and right foot used in that line or in that switch up. Always something I appreciate is that technical dexterity of being able to use both feet. Got that. Oh my god, that's a big drop. That's the kind of trick that I would just not even think about doing. As much as I love inline skating, rollerblading, I really don't want to die doing it. So a drop like that, no thanks. And he just fished that. Didn't really know that was possible, but that's what's going to happen when you're watching videos by Cichiro is you're going to see things that defy uh, logic and physics. Got the TTP to start out the line. 270 back backslide, 450 out. Very impressive trick. Tough one to spin out of like that. I think we got the Danny Beer skates going on here. Uh, pretty epic skate release in terms of rollerblading history. Maybe one of the most uh, well-known, marketed, hyped skates that I can remember in recent memory. Uh, maybe just next to Shadows when those first came out. Whoa! You really just clack that with like a back backslide tap? Wizardry, witchcraft, I call it, those toe rolls. I don't know how you guys do them, but uh, props to anybody that has those toe rolls down. This is one of the things that I love about inline skating too. The level of camaraderie that you have as a skater, but also as a filmer. You know, it almost comes part and parcel with the package of being a skater. Is Not only are you going to skate and have people film you, but you're gonna repay that by doing it for others as well. It's that sort of teamwork that helps sustain the industry and helps create content and helps uh, market inline skating. 
So I definitely like that. I don't think you see that very often in other types of traditional sports. And here we have it again, people sharing the camera there. All right, there's some really cool friends clips in there that I cut out from the middle just to keep the focus on Citro for this video. But uh, definitely go back to that and watch that because there's some great coverage of a number of skaters in this video. And that's one of the things that I really like about it too is skating is a collective community effort. And so having videos that feature a number of friends sections and cover a cruise from the entire area is something that I think is really essential for the development of blading. Like, yes, you want to highlight those top stars of areas, those professionals, but it's also good to give some love to everybody else that's part of that community. Look at that, we got another textbook 540 going over the hedges. Switched up into a front fast slide. Oh, and look at this fish going around the curve. Love that one. Really unconventional spot usage so far. Faked me out there with the handicap rail a little bit. Some nice budgeting, a little bit of tap dancing work there. And, uh, you know, I think going back to Citro, one of the things that's really cool about his story, I think this was covered in the action figures profile, is he won that major Chimera competition in China a couple years ago, which I believe had like a $100,000 cash prize. And uh, that's unreal in inline skating to have that type of uh, money payout. That was sick. Love the topsail, Hurricane topsail. But I can't think of anybody that would be more deserving of having a little bit of financial reward and security for his level of skating. Uh, because again, you look at all the stuff that Citro is doing, these regular parts that he's putting out, the competitions that he's traveling to, uh, the influence that he's providing, this filming for other people. He just seems like a really great person, and that trick blew my mind. What the heck was that? Like a top sole 360 vertical sole? I'm gonna have to watch that one again. That was insane. Anyway, thank you, Citro, for everything that you're doing for inline skating, and I wish you the best, man. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Rolling Reactions featuring Citro Kanashima. Whether it's park skating or street skating, he is absolutely amazing. Whether it's his technical dexterity on the skates or his unique style that he brings into it, you always know that when Citro is skating, you're gonna get gold. So I always look forward to every profile, every piece, every promotional video that he posts is something that I have interest in watching. Anyway guys, if you have any recommendations for future skaters for me to cover on rolling reactions, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'm always looking for new skating to watch and I'd be happy to react to some of the other sections that are out there that you think are worthy of taking a look at. Anyway guys, I'm Butch Lehman from Roll Minnesota, reminding you to stay safe stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. We'll see y'all with the next video. Until then, peace everybody.